Hi, my name is John Walsh with Logic Group, and in this example, I am going to demonstrate how the logic trace system can be used to calculate areas, lengths, and counts for a landscape project. Now, I could run everything on the computer, but what I also do, like to do is I like to have an iPad with the screen on it right next to it, which our software supports, and allow me to push buttons on the iPad to control the digitizing, and then I can see my results and my, my plans right here on, on the screen, right where I'm working. So I come in here, the first thing I do is I click four points, and I digitize four points around the project. This just blows it up and makes it easier to work with. Then the next thing I do is I get a, select a scale. My scale here is one foot is 10 inches, or one inch is 10 feet, that's correct. Close that screen, so the scale is set. First thing I want to do is I want to calculate what the area of my lot is and what the perimeter is. So I come in here and I click the area button on the, on the uh, software. I click trace start and then I'm going to click line to digitize the lines. And then I'm just going to come in here and digitize that back line. And then on the front, I'm going to do it as a curve. So I just hit curve fit and I digitize points along that front line. Now I certainly could have done traced it, but it's a little bit more accurate if I do with the curve fit through the points. I come in and click stop, and then the program tells me that the area was 12,505 square feet, and the perimeter was 431. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's right there in the, on the screen there. Okay, now I want to come in here and calculate with the area of that flower bed is and the area of that flower bed. So I come in here, to, let's go ahead and change the colors. Let's make the flower bed to dark green click OK, click Trace Start, and then I'm going to do this just by tracing around. So I take the pen stylus, hold the tip around, and just go right around the flower bed. I'm going to do these as points. Back to the beginning, I click Stop, and then it tells me that that area was 482 square feet. Uh, very fast, very easy. Come in here and click Trace Start. Let's do the other one. Again, I just trace right along the front of the flower bed. Do the back one as a bunch of points. Very fast, very accurate. And it tells me that the area of that flower bed was 646 square feet. Okay, dope. let's calculate some grass here, grass areas. Let's change it to a light green. Click OK. And then I click Start. And I'm going to trace right along the edge of that flower bed. And then here I've got a line, so I'm going to switch to a line. And then on the front, I'm going to do that curve fit through points again. I could have traced it, but again, it's a little bit more accurate if I do it as points. And I have a line at the, at the very end. And then click Stop. And it tells me that grass area is 1,572 square feet. Very good. Let's do the grass area on the other side. I click Trace, trace Start. Again, just trace right along the flower bed. And then I have a line. Oh, I did a line. Uh, let's, let's erase that. So I'm going to come in here, hit Cancel. It says, do we really want to do this? Say yes. And let's do it again. So I'm going to click Trace Start. And it's a trace. Sorry about that, but we can make a mistake. We just go backwards. So trace right along that edge. Switch to a line on that line there. And then let's do the curve fit again for that front part, digitizing a bunch of points. And I've got a line at the at the end. Go back along and then click stop. And it tells me what the area of that was 1,617. I could also calculate the area of this little bit here, that bit there, that bit there. I'm not going to do that here. Um, let's calculate what the length of this flower bed is the, so that I, for the siding that I need, or whatever they call the stuff at the front of a flower bed. Come into length, and I come in and click Trace Start. And I'm just going to trace this. And then I just trace right along that edging. Oh, edging, that's what they call it. And then I click stop. And it tells me my edging was 76 feet. 
let's ca um, count how many plants that we're going to need in one of the flower beds. So I just come in here and we're going to do counts and we'll do tray start and I just digitize each of the plants. Do all the plants and then I click stop and it tells me that I needed 31 plants. So I could go in here and, and do um, digitize all my parameters, calculate all my areas of lengths, and then I can save it as a report. One of the things I like to do too at the very end is I'll actually go in and digitize the house outline in black, and then I will save that entire diagram that I've digitized as a PDF. My name is John Walsh. If you have any questions, please contact me.